lot of biography about you have been written. What would be your own short biography? I mean, who is David Garrett now? Um, well, David Garrett is a very positive person who likes to work and um, who um, enjoys what he does. Otherwise, I wouldn't uh, be so passionate about it. So that's the shortest bio I can give you. You are playing a classical concert today with the pianist uh, Julien Quentin. Yeah. In June you played another kind of concert in Berlin, yeah. an, an open-air concert with yeah. uh, 13,000 people. It was actually 15. 15. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like? I guess it was very exciting. It was very exciting, especially since it was outdoor and we weren't sure about the weather. Uh, so there was... Uh, uh, definitely a shaky situation with the rain, but in the end we were quite lucky and it was definitely one of the biggest audiences I, I performed with and uh, it, was, it was quite an experience uh, walking down those steps like I really couldn't hear much from the orchestra and had those in-ears trying to figure out uh, the rhythm because obviously when you walk, uh, the f the further you walk away from stage uh, the more the sound delay is there, so it's really tough to kind of be in time uh, with what is happening because you hear two total different rhythms, one from uh, outside of the in-ear and one in the in-ear, so it's, it's quite difficult. But uh, besides that, it was, uh, it was a very well, well done show and I'm very happy we got uh, you know, this one on DVD. Do you start your day by playing violin? Today, I, I start every day by playing the violin. I think it's kind of necessary in order to um, uh, get yourself in, uh, in shape, not only physically, but also uh, mentally to kind of be, uh, you know, work on your concentration. Yes, but uh, when you get up, do you play immediately violin? Well, I first brush my teeth, maybe take a shower, maybe have breakfast, and then <laughs> after it, yeah. <laughs> Which violin are you playing today? Uh, today was Stradivarius from uh, 1760. I guess you have a special bow as well. Um, yeah, I actually have two very nice bows which I which I like to switch. Uh, one uh, Russian bow by uh, Nicolas Kitter, and then there is uh, one French bow by uh, François Nipo, which I like to play a lot. In the Beethoven you are playing today. Which is the most difficult passage uh, and the one you prefer? Well, I would say technically Beethoven is um, maybe not the hardest to play, but it, it, it still is the combination of, of uh, you know, uh, technical passages together with, with um, an Aussage, with a message. So definitely Beethoven is one of, the, one of the hardest composers to play. Technically, I would say there are uh, maybe physically more demanding pieces, you know, which are not Beethoven. But uh, I think it's definitely up there uh, in the combination of music and technique. When you are playing, it looks like you are very moved. You pass on so much emotion. Do you think the violin is essential? Well, I think music is sensual. Um, I don't know about the violin yeah. itself, but I think mm -hmm. if you um, if you try to interpret yeah. great music, mm -hmm. you, you have to be um, a yeah. hundred uh, percent committed to the piece when you perform. So um, I don't know about sensual, but you, you should definitely yeah. be emotional with the piece. Yes. yes. Yeah. We've made an arrangement of the fifth symphony. Yeah in your last CD. Yeah. Could you tell why Beethoven was so fascinating? Ah, oh, well, obviously when you're a classical mu musician, uh, Beethoven uh, is, is one of the first uh, composers you, you, you learn to love. And, uh, well, this album was a concept album. Uh, you know, I, was, I knew the title before I actually knew what to you know, put on it. I always wanted to combine you know, great rock anthems with, with a great uh, symphony orchestra. And uh, of course, I just didn't want to just take uh, rock stuff and put it into a more 
symphonic yeah. arrangement, but also go the other way, take iconic mm -hmm. classical yeah, pieces mm -hmm. and put them in a more rock, you know, um, vibe. Yes. <laughs> Um, I think generally Baroque music has uh, it has a very rhythmical element. Uh, thinking about the idea of Baroque music was used a lot for for dance. And of course it was a different kind of dance. If you think about the bourrée or minuet. People used to dance to that music, but obviously 300 years ago. But nevertheless, it has a very, um, it's very structured rhythmically. There's no Ritardandi or Achillerani. This all came more towards, you know, the classical epoch running into the uh, Romanticism. Uh, so Baroque music has a very good pulse. Obviously, that's uh, what the music of today is also, uh, you know, having. You know, there is a beat, as we call it these days. Um, so uh, there is a definite connection. What piece of advice would you give children who begin playing violin? Oof, I'm 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 horrible with advice. Um, I, I think if you if you uh, if you love what you do, keep doing it. If you don't, you better stop. <laughs> And their parents? Their parents? Even more complicated. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's... Of course every parent thinks that their kid is the most talented. and It's, uh, it's just the way it is. It's, it's a combination between love and uh, uh, not being rational with love. Uh, so I think parents need to also learn how to be uh, rational in a certain way and, and also listen to, to their kids. If they don't feel comfortable with something, you shouldn't push. Uh, I think if you're very young, you can you know, destroy a lot of uh, you know, innocence in a kid if you push too hard somewhere. What's the most beautiful gift music has given you? Uh, music has given me everything in my life. There's not one particular thing, but... I, I think it's, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm very lucky to be successful with playing music. I know a lot of my colleagues who you know, are very good musicians who don't have that luck. So uh, music has given me personally a lot, not only that I love performing, that I love music, but it also led you know, me to, to a very successful road. So um, it's more than I ever asked for. Okay, now it's a game. Just I say one word and, and you reply one okay. word. Okay. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Beethoven. Dramatic. Mozart. Playful. Paganini. Challenge. Vivaldi. Programmatic music. It's a parent. Idol. Idol number two. <laughs> Leonard Bernstein. <laughs> um, Leonard Bernstein. Genius. Home. Airplane. <laughs> Audience. Work. Violin. <laughs> Partnership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Virtuoso. Um. Necessary. Rebella. Uh. <laughs> um. Rebel. <laughs> uh. Image. Child. Child. Um. Adult. <laughs> 
family? Uh, support. New York. Fun. Nirvana. Uh, good music. Emotion. Emotion. What am I supposed to say on that? Powerful. Vacation. Vacation necessary. Party. Necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Flight. Um, comes with the job. Quality. Quality. Um, uh, high expectations. Defect. Defect. Try not to have one. <laughs> I'm giving more than one word because I can't just think of one word with each. Chocolate. Guilty pleasure. <laughs>